I just want to live in God's cubicle, far away from Lucifer. Not a slave, gold chains compliment the mule much. Rather see me crucified, police are the crucifers. Shoot us up and dig a ditch, this ain't nothing new to us. Murders happen every day. What's going on guys, All Things Philly 93, finally coming back for another video. I know it's been about a month or so, and I really apologize. I've still been picking up a lot of stuff. I've just been working like an insane amount of hours, like 40 plus a week, every week. So I just haven't had the time to make a video. Uh, but I'm finally getting around to making a new video, and I'm going to try to run through as many pickups as possible that I've gotten over the past month or so. I've got a lot of like jerseys, hats, kicks, and I'm going to try to pull out as many as I can remember that I've picked up since my last video and show them to you guys really quick uh, to try to catch up, and then hopefully I can get back on like a normal schedule, like one video a week or every two weeks or something like that. But let's go ahead and jump into the first pickups. All right, first I'm going to show you guys all of the jerseys that I picked up over the past month and a half or however long it's been. Uh, the first one, these are all like authentic uh, jerseys. The first one's a Braves Majestic Cool Base Authentic Home Jersey. And it's a, let's see if I can get it here, a Jason Hayward number 22 jersey. Those of you who communicate with me on a regular basis know that I live in Atlanta. I'm not a huge Braves fan, but I am a big Jason Hayward fan, so that's why I picked that one up. All right, this next jersey is one of my favorite players in baseball right now. Uh, the first baseman for the Cincinnati Reds, Joey Votto. It's the uh, gray road jersey. You got the patch on the sleeve there, and you got... Votto and 19 and on the back there looks really nice. I love the gray road jerseys. You guys are going to see a lot of the uh, the gray road jerseys that I picked up. All right, this next one is the gray road Washington Nationals Bryce Harper jersey. Uh, I'm also a big Bryce Harper fan. Obviously, I wouldn't be buying these jerseys if I'm not fans of these players. Uh, you got 34 there, the Nationals patch on the sleeve, and then you got... Harper and 34 there on the back. Really, really nice. Again, I love the, the gray road jerseys as opposed to the, the whiter home jerseys. All right, next we have the gray road Angels number 27 jersey. This is Mike Trout. You can see the Angels logo patch there and then the circle Angels baseball patch there. Number 27 on the front. And then you got Trout 27 on the back there. Really sick jersey. I'm a big, big, big Mike Trout fan. All right, these last two baseball jerseys I'm just going to do together because they're the same player. It's just the home and away jerseys. Uh, the first one, the white home Red Sox jersey. And if you follow me on Twitter, you probably already know that I got these. But number 39 is Jared Saltalamacchia, the starting catcher. Uh, probably my favorite player in baseball right now. And then we got the road gray jersey, which says boss on the front. You got the sock patch right there. And I love this one because it actually has his name on it. And I love the way that it looks arched around the numbers there. And it's Salta La and 39. Those of you who don't know me very well might not know that I'm a huge Boston Red Sox fan. It's the only sports team that I support outside of Philadelphia. And I'm, I'm a big, big, big Boston Red Sox fan. So let's go ahead and jump into the one uh, football jersey that I grabbed. All right, so the one football jersey that I decided to grab was the authentic Nike Elite LaShawn McCoy home jersey. Uh, I'm really excited for this football season to get started, and the first uh, game of the Eagles season is actually on my birthday, Monday night, uh, September 9th, against the Redskins, so really pumped about that. But this jersey is really, really sick. You got the stitched-in patches, and it's the on-field jersey, so everything's stitched in, and you got the patches, the elastic around the sleeves, and you know all that the stretchy material on the sides. And, all that good stuff. Can't wait to wear this. I'll be wearing it September 9th, ready for that game. You got the Sean McCoy back there. You got the Nike on the sleeves. Really, really sick, but that's it for the jerseys. Let's go ahead and get into the shoes. All right, so I'm just gonna show you pretty much the majority of the shoes that I picked up uh, in between videos. Uh, starting in the back, you got the Milk Snake Kobe 8s. I do have the flash on so you can see that 3M swoosh popping off. Those are really nice. I like that colorway a lot. Uh, next, we got the number one pick questions. Those are fire, definitely probably top 10 of the year so far. Then we got the LeBron 10 Low USAs. Now, this is the only colorway of those that I like, and I've been wearing the crap out of those. I like them a lot. Next, we got the Luna Glide 5 Nike ID Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, those came out great. Those are like daily beaters for me. I wear them all the time. And then we have the Captain Veritech or Boston Red Sox LeBron 10 Nike IDs. These came out great as well. I uh, can't wait to break those out with some Red Sox apparel. And then down there, you got two more Flyers IDs. You got a pair of Le Zoom LeBron 7 Soldiers. I think they're the 7s. I'm not sure what they're on. And then another pair of Kobe 8 Flyers. That's uh, like a swapped colorway than the other pair that I have. These are like for the away jerseys, and the other one will go for the home jerseys. 
Then starting down here, you got the multicolor Flyknit Lunar Ones. Very comfortable. I wear the crap out of those too. Just beat them up. A uh, pair of Free Trainer 5.0 Villanova or Nova Nations, whatever you want to call them. I've been wearing these too. Definitely a comfortable shoe. Next, I finally got the Hyperposit Statue of Liberties in my collection. I wanted these really bad and it took me a long time, but finally got them for a good price. Same goes for these right here, the LeBron 9 Low Floridians. These I've been hunting for ever since they dropped last summer. And I'm finally glad that I found them in my size dead stock for what I would consider a great price nowadays. Uh, next, we got the 1600 Ubic New Balance Collaboration. These things are crazy. Quality's top notch. Love the colorway. It can go with uh, Philly's apparel really well. And then down here at the end, we have the Adrian Peterson All Day Nike Trainer 7.0s. Uh, these are really, really sick and comfortable. And I love that like cracked uh, cement pattern all over the upper there. Really, really dope shoe. So that's just a brief overview of majority of the shoes that I picked up while I was uh, kind of on a little break or a hiatus there. Uh, hopefully we can get back to some regularly scheduled videos, like maybe once a week or once every two weeks. Well, we'll have to see how my uh, work schedule pans out, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my new shoes and some jerseys and stuff like that, and hopefully I can be back real, real soon. Peace. Welcome to the jungle, bitch!